What then is the real cause of heart disease and plaques? And the real causes are inflammation, a low-grade chronic inflammation, which is associated often with insulin resistance and or oxidative stress. All these three go hand in hand. And here's what we want to understand. There is a strong correlation between cardiovascular disease and these three things. There's a very, very weak correlation between cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. And to the extent that cholesterol is involved with cardiovascular disease, it's to the extent that it's associated with these three. So what we really want to understand is when is cholesterol unbalanced? And the indicators are increased blood glucose, increased blood insulin, increased long-term glucose called A1C, increased triglycerides, decreased HDL, high-density lipoproteins, and an increased ratio of total cholesterol to HDL. We also want to look at VLDL and we want to look at LDL size. Now, one of these by itself doesn't necessarily indicate anything, and that's why we want to look at the bigger picture. The first four I'll cover very quickly because I've done so many videos on that. Increased glucose comes from eating sugar and processed carbs, which trigger an insulin response to combat that high blood sugar. If this goes on over time, then we get insulin resistance and our A1C starts creeping up. And once we're insulin resistant, now this glucose is not accepted by the cells. The cells are resisting additional fuel and if the glucose can't get into the cells now it gets converted into fat which is the triglycerides that circulate in the blood. 